Welcome to Mother America, the land of milk and honey. Hello, this is Oksana from Alabama, crazy Russian mama. And today we're not doing any funny videos, today we're doing awesome interesting videos about that house here in historic district of Mobile, Alabama, Kate Shepherd House. And the host, Wendy, will tell us all about it. Built in 1897 and listed on the National Register of Historic Places, this Queen Anne was designed by George Franklin Barber and chosen from his catalog by the C.M. Shepherd family. It's like a dark purplish, right? Yes. I, I'm obsessed with purple. I love it. So. Oh, thank you. Well, welcome. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm Wendy. Helena. Nice, nice to, to meet you, Helena. Hello. Hi, Wendy. How Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Good. Nice to have you on today. Thank you. I will teach you how to say hello in Russian. Would you please? That would be привет. Привет. Yes. Good job. Very That's good. Easy. Yes. Yeah. Привет. How is how is um good morning? Доброе утро. Dobre yo utra. Yes. It's kind of like Spanish. You gotta roll your R's. You roll know? the R's. Okay. Yeah. I like privet. Privet, yeah. Easier. Easy. Yes. Yes. All right. Please explain us about that sign on the house. This is a historic marker. So our house is documented that it was built in 1897 here in Mobile, Alabama. And the previous owners, the people who built the house, were the Shepherds. Okay. And now, of course, we're the Jameses. And so this is proof that this was a historic home. It was built in 1897. And it remains in its original shape and with light components and materials. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. It's, we, we call this the Kate Shepherd House mm -hmm. because we named it after the woman who lived here for many, many years, probably about 60 years. And she had a school here in the house. A boarding school. I a boarding that. and a day school. That's okay. right. And so she was well known for being a fabulous teacher. In fact, I have a picture of her in here. Okay. And this was taken probably in the 50s, the 1950s. Do you see her here on the front lawn with the students? Yes. Поэтому укажи на нее, чтобы я это... Yeah, there she is. There she is. She's uh -huh. the only adult. <laughs> She's easy. the only adult. And so, a long time ago, when children um, had parents that just wanted them to get a specialized education for whatever reason, mm -hmm. they sent them to somebody like Kate Shepard, and she gave them some one-on-one -on -one education inside of her home. And she was doing... Um, kindergarten all the way up through high school wow. here in the house and then this was her sister Isabel and Isabel helped her with the school and both Kate and Isabel never married so they lived their lives here in the house mm -hmm. and obviously were very dedicated to the children this is an interesting picture look at this beautiful old bride that was Kate and Isabel's sister. And that picture is, now that was their sister who was married here in the house. And you can see it's the same fireplace and mantle. Mm -hmm. And 
again, the same light fixture here that's reflected in the mirror. Yeah. And then that old piano is my late mother-in-law's, and that is an antique. It's an 1888 Steinway Concert Brand. 1888? Yes, oh. Steinway Concert. And she was a pianist. Her name was Betty, and she was really talented. And that piano traveled with her as a young woman all the way through till her death. Wow. Yeah. She must have been really attached to it. She was. She was indeed. That piano has been all over this country as well as Libya and Malta, Caracas. She lived in some interesting places all over the world. Yeah. And then this room is the library. These are the original bookcases. And a lot of the old school books remain. These are the old school books that Kate Shepard would have used. And as you can see, too, some of the toys, some of the old marbles, and some of the other teaching elements that she would have used. Kate didn't like to throw anything away. So she kept a lot of the old books and the old report cards, a lot of the drawings. Uh, it was all in our attic. So oh, that's we have amazing for preservation of history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have several pieces of it on display. Robinson Crusoe. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they are so old, yeah. Yeah, these books would have been late 1800s, early 1900s. Well, the blocks, Kubiki Stare. Mm -hmm. How do you um, deal with, you know, this being pretty much hurricane central on the Gulf? Um, the danger of it's been, it being destroyed is pretty mm -hmm. high mm -hmm. every hurricane season. Mm -hmm. It must be stressful. Well, it is, but we take precautions, we cover windows, we, we pack things up, so you do have to take precautions. It's a busy time of year. If something's in the Gulf heading here, we get very, very busy, Oh, uh, particularly covering windows, Yeah. so that uh, we are protecting as much as we can all the contents on the inside. But you know, this house has been here for almost 130 years, yes. so we, um, although it's a big responsibility, we also feel like it, it's, it's going to be here for a while. And then in this bookcase, these are some of her personal items. Well, Ouija board? <laughs> she has two Ouija boards. Oh, wow. But we only have one on display, but that's a picture of her. And you'll see her little glasses, which we, we do have on display as well. Oh, yeah. See her glasses and her gloves. So we have a lot of her personal things. Hold up the back. That is Kate Shepard. And... We have an elementary school here in Mobile that is named after Kate. It's the Kate Shepherd Elementary School out on Burma Road. And it's just a great little school, award-winning school. My kids school. went there one year. So. And then this Bible, mm -hmm. it was part of her family. It was her maternal great-grandmother's, and it's dated 1825. Her grandmother signed it and put the date in it of 1825. So that is a very, very old book. And this is just another example of how Kate Shepard didn't like to throw anything away. And fortunately for us, we have all these wonderful old artifacts. And then can you get that picture up there or is that too far away? No, I can make it look. talk about it. This is an old publicity shot of our street when it was first developed, you'll see all the way over on the right, our house all the way in the right-hand corner. That is us. Mm -hmm. And then that is when they built all these new houses. This would have been about 1908. Because you see, the shepherds owned all this land, so for, for the most part, it was all vacant. And then these new houses were built. And we think it was about 1908, 1910. And that picture was taken for publicity. So when they were selling the homes, they took this, this picture for the publicity shots. This is an original fireplace and mantle. And you can see the detail 
And each one of our fireplaces and mantles, we have nine. Nine. And each one of them are different. Yeah, I mean, I can tell already yes. between them. So they're each very unique. And these would have been coal-burning fireplaces. Mm -hmm. And so that's why the size is a lot smaller than a regular fireplace. And then I have one more bookcase I want to point out to you. This would be like the side entrance to this. Um, so uh, we, we've got paint cans and, and lumber, but uh, yes, this is a nice, sweet little side porch. Yeah, yeah. But I love this, this cabinet here. Well, working in the yard doing landscaping, he will find lots of little tidbits, little things in the yard. You know, a hundred years ago, there was no such thing as trash pickup. Yes. So the <clears throat> owners would bury their trash or burn it. And so what's left are these sweet little remnants of, of a time over a hundred years ago. So small medicine bottles, coins, broken bits of china. This is um, an old key and a large old bottle, of course. And, and I love this. This would have been a pretty hair barrette for a young woman. I bet you they lost that and it got it got buried somehow. But we love that. It just gives us, um, like, like the old horseshoe, it just is a good reminder of, of the olden times. And then this, unfortunately, oh. is a reminder of probably the many dogs and cats and horses and so forth that were buried in the backyard. But that's a bone that our dog brought to us one day. So our dog dug it up. This bone is, belongs to whom? I, we don't know. Probably one of their special pets that they buried in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we have been on many historic home tours through the years. And, of course, we try to save as much as we can. And then these old pictures at the bottom, on the bottom two shelves, are old pictures. They're old family pictures of Kate Shepard's family. Unfortunately, she did not label any of them, so we don't know who they Those are. Her, yeah. But we just thought they were beautiful, and we've got several on display. We do have more in, in the attic. We wish we knew who they were, but we don't. Is there a local historical society maybe that could help you with that? Or? That's a good question. I, um, everybody we ask that is from Mobile that visits us, we ask them if they recognize these people. Um, but that's a good question. We'll have to start asking them. Okay. Well, this is a table yeah. of a lot of the things that this house is published in. So. I have put it on the map with um, our cooking for the bed and breakfast. For instance, I'm in Alabama food, 100 dishes you must eat before you die for the state of Alabama. <laughs> We're in lots of guidebooks um, across not just the state, but the country. And then internationally, we are in a lot of the guidebooks from all over the world. So these, these are, this is, um, we're in the Lonely Planet. And so lots and lots of guidebooks we are fortunate enough to be in. And then, I don't know if you saw that, this was a catalog home. So this house was chosen out of a catalog. Wow. So at, On the plaque, right? Yes. They, they brought it over. That's uh, correct. Yep. From Knoxville, Tennessee. So the ladies of the day would have seen this catalog in their ladies' magazines, and they would have used uh, sent a dollar off and, and sent it to the company. And they would have gotten a catalog that looked like this. And they would have chosen their house out of a book. Isn't that something? Yeah. And so this house was a catalog home. We know of four more just here in Mobile, Alabama. Catalog homes. So we're very proud of that because this is a famous architect out of Knoxville, Tennessee, that this house um, was chosen from. And we have some other things that we will share with our guests over breakfast. We found some rare documents in our attic. Kate Shepard didn't like to throw anything away. And so she was apparently handed down some family documents and she kept them and left them in our attic. And so when we discovered them and we went on that journey to find out what they were and why they were here, um, we share that, that journey and that story and what the documents were and, and why they were here and how they got here um, over breakfast when you stay with us. So uh, katesheppardhouse.com is our webpage, so you can book your, your room there. You okay. actually choose your room there and book it online. 
And what what I do is over breakfast, I serve a big gourmet breakfast at about uh, 8 or 9 in the morning. Do you and cook? I do everything. Whoa. I do everything, yes. And so I will give my history lesson and I'll show some of the documents that we found in the attic over breakfast. So food for the body and the soul? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you're always learning something here about a little tidbit of history. This is the dining room. Now that light fixture is original to the house. So that light fixture is the same age as the house. And then that fretwork over the window, that beautiful wooden fretwork you see up here, that is very Victorian, very classic, and that is original to the house. We actually have two of those pieces, one here in the dining room and one in the foyer. And that... me. Okay, let me... Uh... So this is a foyer, and what, what we, do we call this uh, piece? Well, we call it fretwork. Fretwork. So it's just a design detail that this architect who designed this house is famous for. So uh, this is like a bay window, right? Yes, this is a bay window, and, and that's curved glass, which was very popular at the turn of the century. So a lot of homes had curved windows. And this uh, bench is original? This bench is should be original. And it was originally going all the way across to the right. Mm -hmm. But through the years, that door was added and a wall was added down here in the foyer. Mm -hmm. And the upstairs was used as a boarding house. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, through the years, the door has come down, uh, been closed and the wall has come down. And so it's back to the way it originally was. Uh. This stairwell is also original, as well as the stained glass at the top of the stairway. And this light fixture is original to the house. This table, this carved rosette and music style table with the marble top is part of a set and the rest of the pieces are in this particular music room. So here's the other table that matches it. Mm -hmm. As well as this other table here. And these, if you notice the pools on this table, they match these chairs. And this furniture was being made in the early 1900s in Montgomery, Alabama. It was being mass produced in Montgomery, Alabama. And we are really lucky to have one whole entire set. Do you let your guests sit on it? Or? Absolutely, we do. Yes, okay. we do. Hold it now. You look very comfortable. Um, it's not harmonica, it's... Um, accordion. Accordion. Mm -hmm. Yes, this was my late brother-in-law's. He got his musical talent from his mother. Unfortunately, my husband did not get it. <laughs> Is this a huge pocket door? These are pocket doors. And do they work? They do not work. Uh -huh. The wheels underneath are uh, broken. And so that is on our list of things to do. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the wallpaper is uh, what? That's pro the wallpaper is probably very old up there, but I don't think it's original. But if you look in all of the rooms, there is a, it's called picture rail. Mm -hmm. And it's that wooden line across the top, and it's called picture rail, because that's where they would have hung the old pictures from with hooks. And in all of the rooms, the original picture rail is still available. Well, we're very proud of this book. This is called The English Connection. And a lot of you won't get it. I certainly wouldn't have prior to living in this house, but it's got to do with the Civil War. And 
it's got to do with the rare papers that we found in the attic. And so we're very, very proud of the book. It came out in 2015. You can get it from Amazon and it's called The English Connection. And as you can see, it's a very large book and it's, um, it has to do with the Civil War and it's called The English Connection. And just about on every page, all you have to do is just open it up. You will see copies of the papers that we found in the attic. And these papers are important. They date back to the 1860s, 1870s. And they're important because they relate to the Civil War as to who was supplying the Confederacy with the war supplies. And so they are all in this, in this book. And again, this came out in 2015, so we're very, very proud of this book. They sold out of their first printing, but the uh, rumor that I heard was they were gonna have a second printing, and this book would be available again uh, very soon on Amazon. But again, just about on every page, you will see some of the old documents that we found in our attic. Thank you. Questions? Um, Wendy, so if somebody wants to rent a room, can they rent it for one night? Oh, absolutely. We have no minimums. And so all you need to do is go to katesheppardhouse.com and we have a fabulous webpage with um, our availability calendar and you will see the two rooms that we have to offer and the prices and so forth. So katesheppardhouse.com. Uh, please let me know. Um, so when people come and visit, what time they can arrive? Our check-in time is between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m., but if there's another time that's more convenient for you, be sure to ask because a lot of times we can accommodate. What about uh, breakfast? Uh... Breakfast is served every morning and it is included in the price of the room. So it's served every morning. We have a nice sit-down formal gourmet breakfast in our dining room um, set with real china and antique linens and I serve a full breakfast um, every morning, 8.30 during the week and 9 o'clock on the weekends. Um, and we will always serve our breakfast on real china, sometimes it's antique, as well as antique linens. So it's going to be a beautiful setting here in the mornings. And then around the clock, we have available for our guests port and sherry and of course wine glasses. A lot of our guests travel with their favorite wines. So we have the corkscrews and the glasses to accommodate that. And then here on the sideboard as well, we always have something freshly baked. Now this is left over from our guests that you just met. And this is a chocolate pound cake that they left. They did not finish that. So, but we always have something fresh here for the guests available around the clock. This is the butler's pantry, and this is the original old butler's pantry, and of course it's full of all of our antique china, and we use this as our coffee station for our guests, so we have got a individual brew coffee pot that's available around the clock, as well as a tea kettle, and assortment of teas available around the clock for our guests. Um, thank you for watching this video and uh, um, I hope you can go check out uh, Kate Shepard website and maybe book yourself a room for a day or two and enjoy uh, breakfast and the touch of history. Well, now you say welcome, you know. Or, or no, you're right. I'm saying goodbye. Oh yeah, goodbye. Yes. <laughs> so goodbye everybody. Thanks for visiting with us today. Come, come visit us soon. <laughs>